Hey, you alright guys? Trif Christian here today with my Battle Rise of Shield Hero episode 16. An emotional last episode, wasn't it? Where you got um, a lot more when Natalia's past. In the last episode, we got a lot more insight into a character in past. Um, obviously, a friend's dying and whole race being captured like it was. And then the fat guy doing what he did was horrible. And the way they treated them gives us a bit more insight to the way the demi humans are treated in this world, which is complete. Which is the treat that complete shit really and I just but it was a nice show episode with like Vitelli coming to grips with what happened with the past, um, dealing with revenge of revenge and how she managed to patch she actually patched it up. Obviously stabbing him at one point we did deserve it and I have to hope that guy gets a horrible death. And obviously at the end of the episode he unlocked the CGI demon. He released the CGI into the world, so now we've got to deal with that this episode. And then we'll see how she handles the situation from there. But yeah, overall solid episode. I'm glad they went a bit more deep into Italia's past. I didn't think it was gonna get too much of her past apart from my parents dying, but no, it's probably wrong we've got a bit more about slavery Ray, Ray's been enslaved. Please leave a like and subscribe guys if you enjoy as I'm doing the other seasonal anime, along with a few live action shows and a few other shows I'm doing. So hopefully you enjoy guys. Let's get into this. Or he's a big motherfucker, isn't he? To be fair, it doesn't actually look that bad. That's all right. Another lolly. I feel, I feel like the person who, the, get, the woman who wrote, wrote this loves a child looking characters. <laughs> Hello there. <laughs> Dinner. Mum wants his KFC. Someone's poor house is getting destroyed. <laughs> See, I don't mind how it looks, to be fair. At least, as long as nothing looks as bad as the Overlord Season 3 did CGI, I'm happy. <laughs> that showed me the pivotal of, like, bad CG. <laughs> oh, that's such a disappointment, Overlord. I wonder who we're going to get for killing this mate. Better get some good. Oh, he get some cool shields when he from it. Perfect. I'm actually going to play Final Fantasy Online straight after this. So I'm ready for some MMO vibes. Maybe better start comboing those abilities. Sorry, the noise of hail, guys. I don't know why I always find it so satisfying. You know when they do the side step run, run in. Go for the eyes. I will always love how this show uses spells. I always use uh, no for me smart magic in such cool ways. Mate, it was actually a struggle for a change. Right, three, two, one, play. Make the reliant on my raging shield life. Don't. Oh, the big chocobo attack. Is CG going to battle CG? Mate, they look b fucking ballistic. He's a like, fuck. <laughs> oh, she's going to have a big dramatic entrance. Oh, mate, it's a fat chocobo. <laughs> Fuck no, mate. T-Rex is going in. When a chicken's the OP race in the series. That's fine. Poor D Rex. 
Now turn into the lolly. Because we haven't got enough of those. To be fair, it's pretty realistic because most anime, especially Final Fantasy, does that lolly quality that lolly character that everyone uses. I remember in Arcade they did it as well. Of course, she just has a low-key carriage there. Oh no, the carriage! Yeah, I wonder, we don't know too much about the consequences, do we? Just know we can't spam it. So will it consume him eventually, I'm guessing? <laughs> surely they could... Surely they could get their own food. That would have took ages to make. Yes, exactly, KFC. Cook them up. So she, I guess she was raised by the shield hero as well. Well, one of the older ones. Oh, that looks so cosy. I thought, I was thinking, I always thought that. Oh, but the guy's hogging them all for himself. So, if you have something that just do is train other people to help with to save the world from the waves, not just rely on the heroes doing it all the time, because that means they just have to, the, if the heroes aren't there, they're screwed. So it's from their point of view for change. They're doing some detective work at last. Mate, he's an honest guy. How could you not believe him? I guess if you don't even, then no one's going to change. The other two seem like they get on with. Imagine if she actually did. That'd be brutal. Uh, nice bit of lore dump in this episode. Um, so yeah, looks like no, no means got to get over his... Look, luckily, the Archer and Sword here, it seemed like they would work with him. And they are investigating their own stuff. But that might lead them into danger with the king and stuff. And it's cool to know about that. There's more hourglasses than the wave is happening across the land. It's not just happening in that one area. But it's, but it's there, it seems that like the humans are hogging the um, heroes to themselves to that one kingdom. Even though they should be spread out going to fight other waves. Which is nice to know because I did wonder why the wave was only ever in that one area. Even though it's a massive country. Other than that, no. Good episode. Uh... I'm just good, like, the first half, yeah, cool, um, fine, the, the dinosaur wasn't nothing exciting, I did like a few of the ways the easy abilities, but I did mainly enjoy the, um, the bit of lore dumping at the end, and then, like, them, the fucking arch hero, sword hero, finally looking into the stuff, obviously the sword hero has been a, a, G, a G from the start, well, we've been a G for a while, but the arch hero just needs to get, get on board a bit more, and then we've got three of the heroes working together, just need no for me to work with them, which might be quite harder than it looks, 
But don't know where the story's going to go now. Surely we're just going to try and get the class upgrade, and then we're going to try and get the heroes to work together, which would be interesting. And obviously, um, we get no more as that Philo's going to be like a queen one day. She's a queen candidate, and she's raised, she's a bit different from the other ones because she's raised by the Nazi hero, which is all pretty cool. If you guys enjoyed this reaction, please leave a like and subscribe, and hopefully I'll see you next week. Peace.